Dela Wright, my envious. Welcome. Report reaching us allegedly, as it is alleged, as it is rumored, is that um, Olori Ashley and family ran to Deji of Akure to call Queen Naomi's mother and also um, for them to call Queen Naomi to order as part of her, you know, uh, shop um, where she um, sells um, uh, food in the UK, like part of it. Nothing happened, no. All of a sudden, part of it, you know, um, uh, busted into flames. Like, all they saw was just smoke all over the place. The same thing that had happened to her right here in Nigeria, that also repeated itself in the UK. And or immediately they knew that it was coming from Naomi and um, they ran to Deji of Akure. Now, why is it that they left Oniana and ran to Deji of Akure? They said because KBSC will not answer them. KBSC knows Naomi, and KBSC knows exactly what Naomi can do. That KBSC takes sides with Naomi no matter what. And KBSC knows what they would have done to Naomi that would have provoked her into that kind of um, action. Now, is it Nami that is doing all of this? No, Nami is not doing anything. And they said when they ran to Deji of Akure, Deji of Akure, you know, had spoken to Nami and the family, and Nami said she did absolutely nothing. The only thing she's been doing is been uh, praying, okay? Now, the thing is that um, as we are hearing this uh, rumor that we are hearing, they said Nami has not lifted her hands as much as to do anything. Like, from the day that a um, uh, uh, person, that entity, met her in that house, she has been praying. They said she went on a seven days and seven uh, uh, seven days fasting. And that is why all of these things are happening to Uluri uh, Ashley. So, when they went to the G of Akure, uh, basically they were begging um, the G of Akure to beg Queen Naomi to take um, things easy, that they want to talk to Queen Naomi. And they just want to talk, and that Nami should stop being angry. That Nami is very angry. So they said when they got to Deji of Akure, Deji of Akure said she, I mean, he has had what they, said, what they have said. And when he's speaking, uh, finished speaking to uh, Queen Naomi, and they said he called um, her family back to to tell them to find out what Ashley did to Lori Naomi. And they said they, they don't know that they've just been having the same problems they've been having the entire time. And the Jeff Akura said no, that is not true. That they have not been having the same problem they've been having the other time. That it is um um the fact that they wanted to attack Naomi again. Now, um, you know that the G of Akura is like um, Nami's father. The man loved Nami so much. So when and Nami even gave birth to Tadenika, if you were following the trend at that time, you know that it was the G of Akura who announced the birth of Tadenika. And so uh, the G of Akura now told them that, look, Nami has not done anything to them, but if one hair falls off Nami's body, they will know that they are just Yoruba and Yoruba people. And they said that was when the G of Akura spoke to Kabiesi. And Kabiesi said the reason why they would come to him because they know exactly what he will say and do. That they should leave the Jovakura should not even mind them. That they should just allow Naomi be. That Naomi does not do anything to anybody. The only thing she knows how to do is pray. If Naomi is praying and the prayer is affecting you, it's because you have something against Naomi. Or probably because you have done something wrong to Naomi. That is up to them to decide what that thing is that they have done to Naomi. That Naomi cannot just get up and begin to pray to attack people that she does not behave like that. That they did something to Naomi, they should state exactly what it is that they did to Naomi. And when the repercussion comes, they should not be running left, right, and center. They should be able to take the, the repercussion when it comes. That um, um, Ashley's um, family, uh, um, uh, uh, Ebony's family, they are begging you that Naomi should not be angry that Nami should take it easy, that they want peace, and peace alone is what they are asking for. And they say, Nami is saying, I have no problems with you. Have I ever told you that I, I don't want peace or you and I, we are fighting? We are, I'm not fighting with anybody, but if you bring a fight to my doorsteps, I will know exactly how to deal with it. That you cannot begin to invoke things and begin to send things to people. The truth remains that you everybody knows what they believe in. Everybody knows what they can invoke. There's nobody who cannot invoke something. 
that she is a child of God. When she opens her mouth, she knows the heaven opens for her. And so nobody should try that kind of, you know, randover with her because if you try it, she's going to give you exactly what you want. And so right now they say, all these people are asking and what they are begging for is for peace from Queen Naomi. That she said that she is not ready to continue to fight with um, Olori Naomi. That she is exhausted, completely exhausted, that she is tired. That she is not even a fight before in the first place. That it was, um, sorry about that, that was a call that came in, that um, it was something like uh, 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 it was just anger that is happening to her, that when uh, that person that came to meet them, the person did not come because they wanted to fight, that the person came so they can have some negotiation, that Quinami um, actually misunderstood it, and that is why it is the way it is, that Nami should no longer be angry, that she should want peace, she, that it will not and her, give her any value to continue to fight with Queen Naomi. Whatever Naomi is um, uh, uh, misunderstanding, please, Naomi should understand her explanation. And they said that is exactly what has been going on. Going to bring you more update. Appreciate you so much. Thank you.